like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So UFC on ABC, Emmett versus Toporia. Um, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, it's happened on June 24th uh, in Jacksonville, Florida at the VY Star Veterans Memorial Arena in the main event of the evening. So it's Josh Emmer. Jess, Josh Emmer, he's the number five ranked, Frank, uh, ranked uh, featherweight, put my words out. Uh, his record is 18 wins with three losses. Uh, his recent fights, <clears throat> he was on a bit of a win streak, um, but he did lose in his last fight to Yair Rodriguez for the interim featherweight championship at UFC 284. Before that, though, he did beat Calvin Cater, Dan Ige, Shane Burgos as well. So he was on a bit of a roll there. So he's going to be facing Ilya Toporia. Uh, he's the number nine ranked featherweight in the world. His record is 13 wins with no losses. Uh, he's on obviously a bit of a run. His last win, he beat Bryce Mitchell. That was a really, that was a bit of a beat down on Bryce, Bryce Mitchell. I'll give him that. Before that, he beat Jay Herbert. And before that, he beat Ryan Hall um, in a decent match. Um, obviously, these two can go both good with the hands. Josh Emmett does have KO power. Um, to, to Ilya has nice hands as well and he has good grappling as well um, but so does Josh Emmett I'm going to lean towards Toporia because I just think he's on a bit of a roll he hasn't lost, he hasn't tasted defeat within MMA he's just on a bit of a roll and he's beaten some good guys previously um, if it's going to go to the ground obviously uh, he beat Bryce Mitchell who is a ground specialist and he dominated that fight um, I know Joss has got wrestling as well, but he's also got knockout power. I just feel that Toporia is on a bit of a roll, has his confidence a bit more about him. I just feel he's going to get the victory because Joss Emmett is coming off a loss to a stoppage to uh, Yair Rodriguez to go now to fight this guy who's on a bit of a roll. I just think it's sometimes not all about mental, not all about physical, sorry. It's also sometimes about mental. Is Josh Emmett coming in as confident as he usually is going into fights? This is the problem. Um, so with that fact and all that being said, I'm leaning towards Toporia winning. I'm going to go, let's say, 55-45 to Toporia. But as I always say, at these high-level fights, anything can happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if Josh Emmett gets the victory also. Leave a comment.